Okay, let's move into our final requirement. Briefly explain why franchising has been such an effective method of expansion for quick and easy. For 12 marks. So you've done the, the bulk of it. You've done the kind of really tough stuff out of the question. Um, we've got this, this extra thing asking, why has franchising been such an effective method? Again, notice the positive slant with this one. Why has it been a success? Why has it been effective? So rather like we saw in the first part, we're looking here for why franchising is a suitable way for fresh and easy to expand. Why has it worked so well? Now, there's not really a model of this as such. What we're looking at is just points to do with franchising. Um, so I'd assume that we want to kind of say, well, we want to make 12 decent points here. It's probably going to be quite hard to make 12 completely separate points about franchising and the positives of franchising. So I would guess we'll probably get a couple of marks for each one. One for identifying what the advantage might be of franchising, and then one for making sure it's well applied into the scenario for quick and easy itself. Okay. So if you can't think of a model, don't panic. There sometimes isn't one. Sometimes questions will just ask you to talk about something um, and come up with some sensible suggestions. So what sort of things could you have said? Well, the first thing I would say is, and it's kind of the first time that this has come up in, in, in this question so far, you've got a technical term. If you have a technical term, make sure you define it. So you're asked about franchising. It would make sense here, to begin with, um, to define any technical terms. So essentially, just say what franchising is. Uh, there'd be a couple of marks available for this, I think. Um, Franchising is a partnership between your business owner and an individual. The franchisor gets to expand their business. The franchisee is looking, looking to set up an outlet as part of an established brand. Okay, So it's supposed to be kind of a win-win scenario for both parties. The franchisor um, gets cash from the franchisee to help expand their business and they get a cut of the profits. Um, and the franchisee is able to tap into an existing established brand that maximizes the chance of success for their particular um, operations. Okay. Um, remember that it is quite strongly and tightly legally sorted out, okay, or legally organized between these two parties. So the franchisee um, owns and operates the restaurant or the restaurants, um, if you like, that they've, they've, they've bought the right to. Um, but it's the franchisor, so fresh and easy, or quick and easy in this case, who retains control of how the product or service is marketed. So ultimately, the brand is the control of the, the franchisor. The franchisee runs the restaurant on a day-to-day -day basis. Why has this worked so well? Why is it an effective way of expanding fast food restaurants? Well, essentially, it's, it's really good for quick and easy, as we've already touched on before. Um, for quick and easy, there are going to be relatively significant costs of setting up a new restaurant. You're going to have to um, rent it out. You're going to have to have all the shop fit. Um, you're going to have to initially hire and train the staff. All of these things are going to cost a significant amount of money. By franchising, most of those initial setup costs are, of course, paid for by the franchisee. So it allows quick and easy to expand very, very quickly, which is a great way of getting market share in a really competitive industry like fast food. Okay. Um, one of the other reasons that it has worked so well to help quick and easy expand is precisely because quick and easy has a strong brand name. Because Quick and Easy is a recognized strong brand name, it means that franchisees and, and ones that are experienced and have a lot of money um, are willing to put money in to buy a franchise. Okay, So again, like we mentioned, it's provided a lot of money for Quick and Easy to help fund its rapid expansion. The whole point of fast food restaurants like Quick and Easy is to produce pretty much identical food in all of their restaurants. Um, franchising is a perfectly good way of doing that. Business model is based on standardization. Franchisees have to follow certain rules and regulations set down by Quick and Easy about how they actually make their final product. Um, because ultimately it has to be the same in every restaurant. So it, it kind of works quite well. It's, a, it's appropriate for something like um, 
a fast food outlet um, because again there'll be rules in place to make sure everything is done consistently that's why you know if you go into a, a McDonald's every McDonald's you go into produces the same menu pretty much um, and it's the same quality of food that you'll get made the same way in every place works really well with franchises um, quick and easy want to expand geographically and they want to do that with the same products and marketing they don't want to have to develop new products and branding for every new, every new location and um, they don't want to have to do that for every new country so having um, kind of identical units opening it everywhere works really well and that is how franchising tends to work it's not about every restaurant having its own identity it's about quickly and effectively opening up clone restaurants if you like everywhere around the world on the other hand one other good thing about this is um, while they are all identical to each other the units do still operate independently to each other so there will be certain things uh, that the local franchisee has control over so for example employee management so you may find that they're able to really motivate their employees well to work hard and to produce good quality products and to interact well with customers you may find that they're able to do local promotions um, local ways of trying to actually drum up as much business as possible and franchisees may be able to do that more effectively um, than quick and easy's head office would be able to by itself so it's a way of kind of tapping into entrepreneurial skills and local knowledge and again that maximizes the chance of success of each of quick and easy's restaurants so again, we're spending a bit of time here talking about what franchising is, but we're then looking at why it works for somebody like Quick and Easy or KFC or McDonald's or any of these fast food restaurants. And um, why did franchising work as an option for them? So any sensible points are likely to be um, accepted here. But again, you're trying to look just at the positives. So a couple of marks for each of those positive points that you identified, as long as you're able to explain them. And that's it. So that is our um, debrief of the mock exam. Like I said, remember, the model answer is not necessarily comprehensive. So if you've said something else, fine. As long as it's sensible, you'll get the marks. But remember, like we said, your points have to be carefully explained if you want to get credit.